week number eight that culminates in Cleveland, Ohio, with the Bengals and the Browns on a Monday night. And joining us here in advance of being honored at that game is none other than three-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro Joe Hayden. Good to see you, sir. Man, great to see you, brother. So, um, this is exciting. Yes. When do you go to Ohio? Tomorrow? Today? Be, uh, tonight? Red Eye tonight. Right tonight? Red Eye tonight. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Going Taking back to Ohio. Thing. Going back to the land. No, when was, it, was the first time you went to Ohio when you got drafted? Was that your first yes, trip to Ohio? For sure. Yes. Never been? Never been. Never been to Cleveland. Uh, was was a Brown, was a Cavaliers fan because of LeBron, of obviously, course. you know, yes. big, big fan. So I knew about the Cavaliers and stuff like that, but I wasn't too hip to Cleveland at all. So that was it. Because you're, uh, which part of Florida are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Maryland. You're from Maryland. I went to University of Florida. I was a Gator okay. in Gainesville. Okay, so you, you're from Maryland. Yes. You went to Florida. Yes. Then you wound up in Ohio, and that's kind of going to be like a, a, a forever football home for you. That's forever. That's that's my spot. I love love the city. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so you're going there, and then what's what's the night going to look like? What's the night's going to be sick. Um, there, I'm going to be the dog pound captain for the game. Okay. Um, so that should be dope. Um. Then uh, Sunday, I'm going to the Cavs game, bro. Cavs have always showed so much love to me, uh, me, my wife, the kids, whole family. So they're gonna honor me out there in the Cavs game too. So I mean, just who are they playing? They're playing the Knicks. Oh, Cavs versus the Knicks. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, me and my boys are next to Spizike. Got some floors for the boys. I don't you know. Gotta, get the, gotta, put, gotta put the kids' feet on the wood. Uh, Chris, <laughs> yeah. do you want to you let it? You reach out to Spike. Let him know he's coming. Or Spike, and and Spike, are not, are not, Spike and I are not on good terms. Okay. When Spike was on Twitter, uh, like he trolled like him for not being ago. a real fan, no. and Spike went out and cursed at you, right, on Twitter? Called me a bleeping moron. There you go. Oh, bro. <laughs> I'm going to bring the positive energy. Bro. I'll see Spice. I'll put a good Joe word Hayden in. Joe Hayden is I got here, you. everybody. <laughs> Joe Hayden is here. The Red Eyes and Show Terrestrial Radio audience has just returned. So, again, you're going to be honored at Monday night. You're going to be honored Monday night. Yes. Um, you're the dog pound captain. What, yes. is, what does that require? What does that captaincy require? I, I don't even know yet. You don't I'm, know? Yeah, 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 I don't know. I just know that I'm the dog pound captain. So, I'm, so the dog pound captain. Yes. And then, and this is the end of, I guess, Hayden Palooza, right? Yeah. Because yes. you announced your retirement is, at the beginning of the season, right? Yes, yes. And you went back to school. Yes. What was that like? That was so much fun. Tell me about it. Uh, I got to, got to actually, they put me in the Gator Hall of Fame, and it was so dope because uh, Chandler Parsons went in with me, uh, Jeff Demps, uh, guys that I played with when I, I was I heard that name back, in forever, Jeff oh, Demps. So fast. Right? So fast. So he just got into the uh, Gator Hall of Fame also. Okay. Him, so it was just good going back there, seeing all the dudes, and uh I mean, I'm so far removed from that. Like, like seeing all the kids in like the campus, it was just so dope. Like, Joe, you're a legend, uh, and it was homecoming, so we were able to have my kids on a uh, on a uh, on a float. So you know, it was just it was it was amazing. Hmm. And that was uh, who did they play? Who did Florida? They played play? was it Missouri? Missouri, Missouri, and we got it. We won. You got the dub. Yes, we got the dub. Got the dub. When is Florida taking on? Um, te- is Florida played Tennessee yet? Do we know yet? Florida Georgia's this weekend. Florida, Florida Georgia's this week. Yeah, Florida That's Georgia. Cool. Okay, what's yes. your memory of playing in those games? Oh, my memory in those games was, I mean, it was 2007, mm-hmm. I would say, when they stormed the field on us and they beat us pretty bad. Uh, and then the next year, we stumped them and I had a pick and I ran it back 70 yards. I was guarding A.J. Green, Matthew Stafford threw it, picked it off, ran it back to the one-yard line. You picked uh, off Matthew Stafford. Picked off Matthew Stafford while guarding A.J. Green, Florida, Georgia. Picked off, ran it back 70 yards. I needed to go 71 for a touchdown. Who got you? How did you get taken? Uh, How did you what's not my score? Man? No, for, M- Muhammad Massaqua. Muhammad Massaqua. Got you. Tackled me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I was juking people, like shaking. I wasn't just straight running. Yeah. So, you know. Okay. That was zigzagging. Understood. Yeah. And then he got you. Then he got me. So now I understand why Jacksonville's playing in London. They had to vacate for the world's co- largest cocktail party. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's 50-50. So that's one of the craziest games. It is 50-50. Yes. 50-50. Okay. Yeah. And Florida lost to Tennessee already this year. So what's going to happen? I mean, it's possible, right? It's possible. We got a really good quarterback now, too, Jefferson. So I'm, I'm okay. hoping 15 pulls it through like two. Fantastic. Yes. Joe Hayden is here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's talk a little bit about what we saw last night. I mean, the Buccaneers just can't run the football. They cannot mm-hmm. get it going. Like yeah. Lombardi, Lenny can't get it going. And then Brady, it seems, is just uh, under duress to the point where 
his usual pinpoint accuracy is a little bit off. Yeah. His, the windows are tight. What are you seeing uh, out, of, out of the Buccaneers? Uh, like you said, too, I mean, they you got to be able to establish the run. And mm -hmm. Tom Brady's normally standing clean and mm -hmm. always able to get the ball out quick. Um, if you don't have a run game, people are able to kind of, like, pin their ears back and get after you. So I just see that I don't really see them establishing the run and they're not able to really protect them. So that's that's a that's a failure. And what's the difficulty of taking on the Ravens that you've experienced in your time? Uh, they're very, very – their run game is amazing. Lamar can run, throw, mm -hmm. um, do a little bit of everything. Uh, they're just very, very consistent, and they're going to be able to get after the quarterback too. So uh, they got to be able to – run the ball, hopefully, and uh, with Lamar, stop him. Okay. And then, so, uh, the Steelers, you saw what they were they did on, on uh, Sunday night in, in Miami. Um, and Tomlin, it appears, to just – no one quits on this guy. No. Why, why, why is that the case in your mind, Joe? I mean, he comes in every week with a, with a legit plan. He's going to let dudes know what, what, they're, what they're doing and what they're not doing. Um, I think it looked – the defense did a good job of they only scored 16 points. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like it was a lot of fuck, like holes where they were getting it down the, down the field, but they were bend but don't break, mm -hmm. trying to keep them out of the end zone. Uh, I think too, just we gotta get Najee the rock, and then just Kenny. I think some some of the decisions like the last play just live to fight another down. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that he's it's it's nothing nothing too bad. I think that everything's fixable. I think Pickett has shown that he's. He can win in this league. I, I know that, you know, he won one because mm -hmm. Trubisky came in and got him that win. And I know he's yet to do it for, as the starter from start to finish. But mm -hmm. he does show some flashes. And that kid Pickens in him, you seem to have gotten yes. some form of a connection. Chase Claypool came out and said they need more go routes. And then you look it up and, and it looks like that they're, this team does nothing but run those things. So yeah. w what... What's that all about? We we they run a lot of go routes. So that's the right. thing. And Coach T, I love the way he's going. Like you got to make a play. If it's one on one, mm -hmm. look off the safety and throw the ball. Like those 50-50 balls should be ones that Deontay one on one mm -hmm. fade ball guy, Claypool fade ball guy, Pickens fade ball guys. Uh, we got those dudes on the outside that can be able to make those plays. Mm -hmm. So when it is single high, we are throwing them. So like we got to just they, we got to make those plays. Joe Hayden is here on the Rich Eisen show. What do you think the Browns? need to do what do you what do you think other than get to Sean Deshaun Watson I yeah, mean that, that, that'll help a lot you mm -hmm. know um not not to say that isn't doing a good job they're running the ball very well I mean Chubb is probably one of the best running backs in the NFL yes for sure uh, their line is amazing um I just think they're they they have a lot of players on defense too I think they just gotta you know what I'm saying stand up a little more I think the offense is doing a good job of running the ball getting points um I think just defense just gotta like tighten up just a little bit Okay. Do you think they um, should trade Hunt if they lose on Monday night? What do you think about that, Joe? Because um, that's the talk. Yeah, yeah, like This game on Monday night is huge. Yeah. For a team that's sitting at two and five, they, they, they need to – that was the whole thing. It's like just mm. stay afloat. Tread enough water yeah. while Watson is on the shelf, yeah. sat, suspended. That – if you can go five and six, six and five would be just gravy. Yeah. Um, now you got to sit here and say four and seven is the goal. Sitting here at two and five, just yeah. maybe if you can go five hundred, maybe, maybe, maybe five and six would be helpful. And if you don't, then you have to sit here and maybe answer the call for any teams that need running back help, mm -hmm. maybe wide receiver help, and just get as enough draft choices that you've clearly traded away mm -hmm. back that's what's on the line for me on monday night what what do you think about that subject matter i don't think that's i don't think that's a bad idea i mean when you have such a great great running back and, and you can get valuable picks back for kareem like that not mm -hmm. to knock him kareem's another starting running back in the nfl so when you start looking at your team and trying to get pieces and what what you're really missing when you have two starting caliber running backs i mean i don't i don't see what i'm, I'm not against you with that when you can get another starting safety or something that you really that you really need well this is i, I mean that that's why this game is is, is quite big what do, what are what are your what's your opinion of the defense that has just been lit up locally um in cleveland joe Man, I, I don't want to get you in trouble i know you're I the dog pound I know, captain I know, I, I, but i mean I this is what's going on you know it is, it is it is what it is you know um it's you gotta you gotta you gotta stop 
I mean, and they have a lot of injuries too. Like my boy Denzel Ward, he's an amazing corner. I love him to death. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be like he's going to strap in this league for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, it's health, and then you just got to be able to make plays. You got to get people off the field on a third down. You got to make them kick field goals instead of scoring. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, win first down. I think that. Well, Miles obviously is one of the best players in the league for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was there right before he got there, right before I left, mm -hmm. um, and just a, amazing talent. But you just gotta be able to stop deep balls mm -hmm. and win, win on first down. Well, maybe they just need to channel their inner Joe Hayden on the back end yeah. of their defense. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Well, that's another because uh, MJ Amerson, the defensive back in Cleveland, mm -hmm. had this to say about uh, who he looks up to and has. Oh. Growing up in Florida, um, I was a Florida Gators fan, so I seen a lot of his college tape, and yeah, he's a big influence. You know, um, me playing cornerback, and Joe Hayden, he's a great oh. player. So yeah, a lot of people didn't really know that, but yeah, I look up to Joe Hayden. So, what do you think of that? I want to hug him. <laughs> I want to hug him. Well, you're gonna get an opportunity. Oh, on for Monday, sure. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. That's I. I love that stuff, bro. Like it, that. I mean, yeah, it, it that's 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 sick. pretty cool, huh? That's sick. I love that stuff, bro. Yeah, growing up in Florida, you're 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 influencing. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. There you go. So, all right, that'll be part of the your pregame. Go find him. Oh, trust me. Yes, I'm Give finding what hug. size shoe he wears. He's gonna have some Jordan cleats. It's gonna be okay. Sick. Very good. That was my that's my size guy. thirteen. That's, right. that's about to say, size CJ. 13. Do you have anything you want to say about just a, Joe Hayden's influence just, on your life? Just a size thirteen. I, mean, I love Joe. You know, <laughs> he's what he influenced your foot size. What are you well, talking no, about? He just influenced he me to become a better human being oh. just by being in his presence. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Chris, you want to, what do you got? You gotta... Shout out Valley, uh, size 11. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he instantly. Your shoe size is my shoe size. Huh? 11. 11. 11. Oh, sweet. Oh, so that's oh, yeah. going to work out for you, Chris. You might get these just, off my feet. Saying, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm 10 and a half, but I'm like Durant. I like a, okay. a little bit larger okay, shoe. Okay, for you sure. Know, you're, the, you're two sock kind just, of guy. That, that's, that's, how, that's how KD and I are, 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 are one and the same. Okay. Just make yeah. sure you stay, take an I extra step, step back, back at the three. Yeah. <laughs> so I get the one extra one point. That. That was a big deal. Is it too soon? I think it's too soon to make those ever. jokes. <laughs> Who's the best team in the league right now through seven plus weeks? The Joe Eagles. Hayden. You didn't stutter. I did not stutter. The why, Eagles. Why do you say that? I mean, they have everything. I think the one thing that I I'm I'm faulted because I didn't know what Jalen Hurts really was going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like sure. I didn't I didn't know if he was going to be a real legit quarterback. I mean, I, I love the dude to death. He was a winner. You know what I'm saying? Back uh -huh. wherever he played, but now I mean. They have everything. They have AJ Brown. They just they keep stacking up. They have Darius Slay. They have Bradbury. They have my boy from Florida. We have Chandler. Mm -hmm. I mean uh, Gardner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As a Trust. safety, they just keep stacking up and they're loaded and they they seem hungry. They seem like they're not worried about what nobody else is talking about. They just want to go out there and win. Well, so. I mean, the front office then says, "Here's Robert Quinn." Well, that's know? what I'm saying. They I keep didn't... loading up with talent and players. I mean, and the dudes are all. Ballers and hungry, and they, I don't think they have too many. No, I don't know if anybody's won a Super Bowl on that team. So they really like want to go get it. And I think they see the opportunity. But, and by the way, did you hear the details of the Robert Quinn trade that it was the Eagles cough up a four? Mm -hmm. They still have six draft choices next year anyway. They cough up a four, and the Bears pick up seven million of his remaining seven and a half million dollar salary. The Bears pick it up. And Robert Quinn, for his, I guess, uh, disruption to go from a 3-4 and four team to a 6-4 and four team, they lopped off the last two years of his contract. He's now a free agent. Oh, wow. And now, I mean, you think he's going to be balling out or what? So that he's, he, he wow. can, If he can put it on tape, which yes. 18 and a half sacks last yeah. year, one would think he can. Go Von Miller. Go exactly. Von Miller. And go Von, they now have allowed him to be – Oh, and that's, that's the analysis that I, you know, my first thought was it's just like what the Rams did last yeah, year. Sure. Go get Ad Von Miller. Von was the actual free agent. They have they lopped off the last two years of a deal and said, "Yeah, oh, he's shooting for the moon." That's and, and I yes. think he's going to show up in the locker room. And then you know we had uh, Brian Dawkins on yesterday. The thing he said he loved about it was competition. Mm -hmm. That Brandon Graham's now going to say, "Okay." You're yeah. here. I'll just up my game up too. For sure. And they'll go sack for sack, and it'll be the opponent's problem. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Well, I heard that yes, today, and yes, I'm like, yes. that is another way to just motivate a, a team in a locker room. You don't think the Bills though are the best team in the NFL I mean, right now? 
it's those two teams. Those okay, are those, no, I, yeah, those, those, I don't two, mean to, you know, I don't two, mean to put two. you on I mean, a spot here, but I mean, those two. I think if the, they face each other, who wins that game? Joe Hayden. I think they're they're basically kind of evenly matched with you. Like, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, no, I, no. You, no, do, you take I think, who you want. I, uh, I by think, the way, I don't mean I, to put you on the spot. No, 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 I know it's maybe my, costing me a pair of shoes. Those are my but two. I mean, <laughs> those are my two favorite teams. You're correct, but I think too, if I had to choose, I would go with the Bills because I think Josh Allen is just the separating factor. He's an, he's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, both of those teams are completely stacked, but the, okay. the leaning thing would be would be Josh. But you Allen. like the Eagles, though. But I love the Eagles. I love the Eagles, and I love what Jalen Hurts is doing with the team. It looks like that's what's happening right now. It really does. Uh, and and so um, uh, I, I, I can't wait to see uh, you, know, you and your family on Monday night. You must be really fired up. So who's all going to be there? Any other family members? Oh, my gosh, there? everybody. My mom, my dad. All my brothers, their kids, um, a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends from Cleveland. So you're plus what? What's the number? Uh, it's Joe Hayden plus, plus so how many? Cavs game plus 34. Uh, well, Browns game uh, 40. Yes. Yeah. So it, there's going to yeah. be a whole Hayden oh, bro, section. You're going to see so many Haydens running around. <laughs> it's going to be insane. There's going to be 23 little Haydens running around. <laughs> They've got to be related to Joe. Look at that little Joe running around. So cool. Yeah. It's All right. So, so the fun. Cavs. Uh, you're, so if you're in Cleveland, go say hello to the Haydens. Yes. Uh, you can't miss them. They're pl- it's. They'll be 35. It'll be 35. A deep. party of 35. Yes. At, at the Cavs game. By the way, very nice of the Cavs to be. Uh, oh my gosh. Providing, like that. Dan Gilbert, Cavs. I love them. Well, when you see Dan Gilbert on Saturday, if you do see him, mm-hmm. give him a hug because uh, he'll need it because his Michigan State Spartans are about to get hurt. <laughs> Got to get hurt. Yes by my Michigan Wolverines on Saturday night. Saturday? He'll need that hug. Okay. He'll need it. And tell him it's from me, okay, when you hug him on Saturday you. night. Because right around – Because right, actually, you. like, tip-off, if you see him right around tip-off, that's yeah. when kickoff will happen. Okay. So the hug will be pro – you know, you'll, yeah, yeah. you'll front-load the hug. Yes. He will need it. Uh, and then Sunday is going to be a great uh, uh, just hangout day before yes. Monday night. Yes. Great. Yes. Joe, you're one of my favorites, man. Uh, congratulations on the, the whole two-month uh, retirement announcement and yes. then traveling around. And then, you know, your your next chapter will no yes. doubt be in the media. And I, I can't wait to be part of that with you as well, Thank Joe. You, man. I appreciate you it. You are the best. That's J- at Joe Hayden 23, Twitter and Instagram, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Monday Night Football, Joe Hayden. Joe, check him and his whole family out. And certainly see him in the dog pound. That'll be fun on Monday night. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.